In this first tutorial, we'll see the general interface of the software and workflow of Idea Statica connection. Firstly, we can say that Idea Statica interface basically consists of four parts. Main navigator, at the upper part, ribbon menu, graphic window and data window. Now let's examine all these parts in more detail. There are five tabs in main navigator named as project, design, check, report and materials, in order. Those tabs show the main workflow in Idea Statica. First, click on the project tab. Here you can create a new project, open an existing project and easily save. Also you can add or edit some information about your model, here at the identification part. At the bottom of the screen, you can see three parts. The first is, project items. In Idea Statica, you can create not only several connections in a model, but also several models of same connection. Furthermore, it's possible to change the analysis type of the each model. You can choose stress slash strain for the first, and capacity design for the second one. In addition, at the bottom of the screen, there are two more sections with useful links, such as, tutorials, frequently asked questions, FAQ, webinars, news, and etc. You can use Units tab to change all the units of materials and results, as well as, Preferences tab can be used for changing visual features. You can either use ESC button or this arrow icon, in order to return to the main window. The second important tab, Design, can be used for all the modeling process. At the right side of the graphic window, there are three main subcategories of the Design tab, and these are, Members, Load Effects and Operations. We have the list of the main members of the model, in Members subcategory. In the Load Effects part, you can edit all the internal forces as seen. Finally, all the actions necessary to connect the members can be determined in Operations subcategory. As the third tab, check, we able to see all the results of the analysis. You can see graphical results as well as numerical outcomes. Here in this place, numerical results can be checked according to the relevant code in detail. After all these checks, a detailed technical report can be created easily. This is the fourth tab. You can customize the content of the report here. There is a perfect visual report that you will be able to find detailed results, with a very extensive content. The last tab is Materials and we have mainly two kind of information here, Cross Sections and Materials. If you have bolts in your current project, you will also see them here. When you switch between tabs, you will see the change in the ribbon menu. The only part that does not change is, Project Items Manager on the left. You can check independent connections, and copy or save them. Moreover, you can switch on or off the visibility of the names of members, plates or local coordinate systems. In the graphic window, once the connection checked, you will have a summary of the check results here. And also if I put the mouse cursor on the members or operations in graphic window, the information about those elements will be visible at the bottom left of the screen. There are some tools to navigate around the model in the graphic window. These are, Zoom Window, Zoom, Pan, Rotate, Zoom Fit and Perspective. After using any of these, if you want to come back to default 3D view, use Home button. Or you can do the same with the right mouse button. A similar navigation can also be easily done with the cube, here. If you click and hold this circle, you can rotate the model without modifying the inclination. On the other hand, you can click on some points of the cube, or select and hold one point on the cube to rotate the model. Just above this cube, there are three different display options named Solid, Transparent and Wireframe. The default setting is Solid. Transparent view is useful for some complex connections. If you use Wireframe, you will see the columns or beams as axis lines. Finally, in the data entry window, you can edit and enter parameters of every member's load effects and operations.